Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Maurice Dick. Tom Brady admits he regrets Netflix worst after brutal jokes about divorce from Gisa Bunchen affected his kids. Tom Brady said he will be a better parent as a result. Listen guys, when I heard the jokes, I said to myself, did Tom Brady had any idea what the joke was going to be about, what they sound like? And now I found out Glazer said, come on, Tom, you did your research about the jokes. So you knew it was coming. Probably people did not think or probably Tom did not think just a bunch and would have taken it that way or would have affected his kids, you know. And he said he will never do another worse. And another question I have, did they make any money from that? Because I know the money is not an issue for Tom Brady. He's got it like that. Not a big deal. Again, it was fun to see him laughing at people, making fun of, at him. But when it comes to his kids and his ex-wife, I don't think he was happy about that. Somebody has admitted that he would not sign up to be worsted again after the jokes made during his Netflix worst impacted his children. Especially the one from his ex-girlfriend that was pregnant. He dumped the ex-girlfriend to be with Giselle Bunchen. I know that could have affected his son, Jack, which is 16, I think, now. Think about it. You know my mom was pregnant with me, and you dump her? You let her be alone to be with somebody else? I know, I hope they had a conversation, man to man, and explain it to Jack why he did what he did. It wasn't intentional. It was pure stupidness because look what Giselle did to you after so many years of being with her. Look, she dumped you just like you dump your ex-girlfriend. So at the end of the day, karma is a bitch, all right? So the former NFL quarterback was the star of the streaming platforms, the worst of Tom Brady, with the show proving hugely popular with viewers from brady snapping at robert Kraft to the sports star star taking m at kanye west there were a whole load of viral moments from the live special however in an appearance on the pivot podcast brady said that while he had found the jokes about himself funny some had affected his kids Brady has three children, a son and daughter with his ex-wife, Giselle Bunchen, and a son with Bridget Mohan. His worst saw comedians Nikki Glazer, Tom Segura, Andrew Schultz, Beth Gresher, Tony Henschliff, and Sam J, as well as some of Brady's former teammates, Julian Eldman, Rob Grosky, and Drew Belsaw all directing the most visceral humor at him. Signing up for a roast requires a thick skin. I said it myself. Did he know about these jokes? Did he do his own research, his own due diligence before those jokes came out? Because some of them was vicious on Giselle, you know, like, who the comedian Kevin Hart went all the way in. I was like, whoa, that's deep, you know, it could be a little touchy, a little, you know, tough for Tom Brady to take, but he plays a good sport, man, and take it smiling, laughing, but uh, he didn't think that was going to affect his kids, okay? especially when they will be professional comedians directing the most stingy barbs your way, your way. Of course, the subtext of any worse is that it's a mark of respect, of affection for the subject. But while Brady was on board with jokes directed at himself, it appears he was less comfortable with some of the other jibs. Many comedians took him at his marriage and divorce to Bochin. 
The pair announced their separation in October 2022 after 13 years of marriage. You see, it wouldn't be a problem she divorced him. Is she divorced him to be with the person who was supposedly coaching her to become a black belt? That right there was a little cheesy, you know. Out of all the people around you, you fall in love with the guy that is supposed to teach you how to defend yourself if somebody come at you. Or oh, he did teach her how to defend herself in the right way too. Ended up losing the man she loved for 13 years, have three kids with to be with that person. That's a slap in the face to Tom Brady, okay? Without specifying which jokes upset his children, he told the Pivot Podcast, I liked when the jokes were about me, I thought they were so fun. I didn't like the way they affected my kids. Nonetheless, Brady clarified that he would take some lesson from the experience and be a better parent as a result. He said, I am going to be better parents as I go forward because of it. At the same time, I am happy everyone who was there had a lot of fun. If we are not laughing, about things we are crying that is so true we should have more fun what do we love we love laughing in the locker room let's do more of that and love each other and celebrate celebrate other people's success i agree with him a hundred percent and the fact that he was able to laugh at the jokes they were throwing his way it's fun to see somebody can take himself serious on the field. But when he's off the field, able to laugh with his friends, the only thing that affected him the most was the some of the jokes affected his kids. So again, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Was Giselle Bunchen right for getting angry? Giselle Bunchen saying the fact that Tom Brady chose football before his kids now nah, he's doing the same thing by choosing the worst before his kids i mean i think it's a way to get at tom but girl please you got fame you got money you got your children you get what you wanted and now you get the coach give me a break subscribe thank you just be happy leave tom alone and by the way tom's still fine y'all he's still fine tom brady brad pitt Brady cooper just a few and George Clooney of the white guys that will always be fine to black women. I can speak of that. Those guys have this look, that bad boys look, and this fine, like, damn, you're a fine wine. You get better as you age. <laughs> Subscribe to all my black men. I still love y'all. I'm still in y'all corners. But it's okay for a sister to see when a man is fine. A man is fine. Subscribe. May God bless you. Bye.